Hi, I'm Eric Lenask here in the TMC Newsroom. And on today's program, we have Vikram Srivastava, who is the Director of Marketing, Set Top Box Solutions for Sigma Designs. Uh, welcome, Vikram. Why don't we start off by uh, maybe having you tell me a little bit about what exactly is a hybrid set top box? That's what we're here to talk about today. Thanks for the opportunity today, uh, Eric. Uh, well, uh, hybrid set-top boxes are um, set-top boxes that not only bring uh, broadcast television, uh, whether it's uh, free-to-air or pay TV, to a, a living room, but also bring some IP content, which is delivered over broadband networks. So hybrid basically means that it is uh, using both uh, broadcast technologies as well as IP technologies to bring programming. Uh, now. How about taking a little look at the market itself uh, for hybrid set-top boxes? What are some of the uh, trends that are driving the adoption of uh, hybrid boxes? Uh, sure, Eric. Uh, what we're seeing uh, pretty much uh, globally, and the U.S. Uh, is leading that, uh, that trend, is that uh, there is a significant amount of demand for services that are being offered over broadband networks. In the U.S., we are seeing a tremendous uh, adoption of uh, Netflix, uh, but along with Netflix, also other uh, sh uh, content portals like Hulu, uh, Amazon Video on Demand, and also some personal content network sharing uh, like uh, Picasa for Photos, Pandora for Internet Radio, and several of these uh, niche content portals as well that provide either uh, uh, geographic or, or ethnic content that is uh, very specific to some communities, and people want to access this in their living room. And uh, uh, we are seeing some of these technologies available on TVs and Blu-ray players, uh, but uh, service providers are seeing this trend and they want to make these features available on their traditional broadcast pay TV boxes. So we are seeing uh, demand for several of these internet or broadband services uh, being available on your traditional satellite and cable uh, boxes as well. So this is uh, at least the trend on the uh, broadband side, but if you look uh, globally in countries like UK and Germany, uh, where there is a significant amount of uh, free-to-air broadcasting, very popular, uh, and they have their own free-to-air set-top boxes, there's a significant demand of similar services being available in uh, Europe as well. And so uh, the phenomenon of uh, hybrid set-top boxes will be pretty much worldwide as uh, operators and free-to-air boxes uh, add more and more of these uh, over-the-top content services to their traditional offering. Great. Thanks, Vikram. Uh, and now let's move on a little bit to uh, Sigma Designs itself. And specifically, what is uh, Sigma Designs' position in the market? Where does Sigma Designs fit into the uh, hybrid set-top box marketplace? Right. Now, uh, Sigma Designs actually has been uh, leading the market in providing IP connectivity in consumer electronics. So almost uh, seven or eight years ago, uh, Sigma Designs was the first company that offered uh, IP connectivity in uh, DVD players. Uh, we similarly provided uh, other technologies that enabled Microsoft uh, to share uh, the media center experience on consumer electronics devices. So we have a long history of uh, providing some basic um, uh, software stacks that enable uh, uh, consumer or over-the-top uh, media to be distributed on a home network. And so when we combine that uh, with our expertise in IPTV and bring that over to a traditional broadcast, we are positioned uh, very strongly uh, to uh, basically make traditional set-top boxes provide this IP-based technology, uh, which is very mature on Sigma platforms today. Thanks, Vikram. Thank you very much, Eric. I appreciate your time today. I'm Eric Lenask here in the TMC Newsroom, and you've been watching this segment with Vikram Srivastava from Sigma Designs. Thanks for watching.